I am salt, and I love you. I have loved a lot of people, but now I love you. Last week, actually, I loved this sweet little girl. Her name was Lisa. She had sweet, straight golden hair and small blue eyes. When I saw her, I just knew I loved her. About five days ago, I saw her playing happily outside, so I decided to join her. At first, she was scared, but everyone is at first. It was okay, though. I told her as much. We went and played in the sandbox. She asked me my name, and I tried to tell her it was Salt. But as always, my voice was a whisper and dragged out, so it sounded more like a... Salt. She laughed at this, and enjoyed saying my name that way. I liked that it made her happy, and so we kept playing. Soon I saw her mother through a window in her house. She was washing dishes. She looked out at Lisa playing in the sandbox. As soon as she saw me, her face changed. Where just a moment ago she had seemed content, now her face was ghostly white. She stared at me in terror, her hands firmly gripping the dish she had been cleaning. I stared back at her. Our little staring contest seemed to last for an eternity, though I knew it was really a couple seconds. Then she screamed. She ran to the door and swung it open. She seemed too afraid to come near me, so instead she called Lisa to her. Lisa, of course, got up and walked towards her. The front door slammed shut. I wondered what her mother was doing, so I teleported inside to find out. Lisa was running upstairs and her mother was in the kitchen on the phone. Yes, hello? This is Jane Moore. I live at 9851 Oakland Drive. There's a... There's a thing outside in my yard. Yes. It is an extremely black creature. It's taller than any human. Its eyes are black too. No, I'm not making this up. Yes, it resembles a person except it has claws for fingers. It was outside with my daughter and I could almost swear I can feel it behind me now. Please help me. She seemed to be crying. It must be the phone. I knew it was wrong, but to make her feel better, I cut the cord. She froze. I leaned in, starting to put my arms around her to comfort her. She slowly turned around and stared at me. I had thought her face was white before, but now it was almost as white as snow. She dropped the phone. I tried to say hi, but again it came out as, hi. She screamed. Lisa came down wondering what was going on. Her mother yelled at her to go upstairs. I didn't want to lose Lisa. I loved her. How dare she try to take away Lisa? I couldn't let her keep doing that. I took my finger and I slit her throat. Lisa screamed. I picked up Lisa and teleported back to my house. She didn't seem happy. She was trying to run away. I talked to her, telling her it was okay. I loved her. And she didn't have to cry, but she kept on trying to run. I strapped her to a table. A couple of days later, she had calmed down, but was still crying. I came in and she struggled against the straps, but to no avail. She looked so pretty. I told her I loved her, and I wanted to keep her forever. She kept crying, but I knew she would be happy soon. So I started doing what I always do. I keep my fingers nice and sharp for this. I threw my fingers into her stomach, one at a time, in places I had learned from practice. She started screaming. I always did. I finished. The blood was oozing out of her body as she lay there screaming. Now came the last part. Now that there was blood, my stomach growled and I let it open. Out came razor-sharp teeth. First I was eating her legs, making her scream even louder. Slowly and meticulously, I worked my way up until her screams turned into gurgling. Soon it was silent, and I was done. I loved her. Now she is inside me, 
and I can continue to hear her screams forever. I am Salt, and I love you. <laughs>